many of you are using talent connections in their integration jobs but I was wondering if you guys are using the way they are developed to be used so in this tutorial we are going to see talent connections their types and their use cases so on the screen you can see that we have four different types of connections in talent so we have the row connection then the iterate connection so row connection is used for passing on the actual data whether it's consistent or whether it's inconsistent then we have the iterate connection it's like a looping pointer that iterates it's like a for loop or while loop in programming and then we iterate over all the constants or content or all the rows for all subsequent components then we have the trigger component so the trigger component is not to handle data but it's like a control mechanism it tells us what we are going to do when a component has finished its execution and it, it can be for example if a component is failed or if it's passed so what do we do after a component is done its execution and then we have the link com uh, link connection link connection is only used for the ELT connections uh, for the ELT components and for now this is out of the scope of the video so let's get started so in the first place let's have a look on the row connection so we have a couple of different types of row connections so the first one is main so row main uh, means the actual consistent data that we want to pass on to the next component and then we iterate over all the rows and then the data is being operated on and I have this first sub job so in this we have a T row generator it, it generates some random data and then it passes the data on to the next component and here I have used row main and row main means only the consistent schema which conforms uh, only the consistent data which conforms with the schema so for that if I right click on this component I can see in the row connection I have right now two options main or write rate so I use main and then I connect it so the clean consistent data will be passed on to the next component so the second com uh, connection is uh, the second row connection is lookup so when we are when we are feeding one component with two different data flows then the first one is going to be main and the second is going to be lookup lookup is like like the concept of lookup tables that we look up for some specific values based on some specific keys and then we we process them accordingly so using tmap so the first one is always going to be a main and all the subsequent connections they're going to be lookup connections and then in the tmap we can join on that and we can merge them and we can process accordingly in the third place we have the reject the reject connection and reject is basically all is taking into account all the inconsistent or unclean or dirty data that we needs to pass on so if the schema uh, for this component is uh, having the having the condition that the length of first name should not be greater than 10 or should not be greater than 20 and in reality if the length comes up with uh, length more than 20 then this is going to be in the reject path because it doesn't conform with the schema so you need to first understand what schema consistency is and if you know that then all the schema inconsistent uh, valid uh, inconsistent records are going to be part of this flow and then we can handle them accordingly we can send an email insert them in the database create some notification or could be anything now if you right click on this component we can see in row component we have two options main and uh, main and iterate now so main is going to process the clean consistent data and the reject is going to take into account the rejected records and then we have the next row connection as the rejects so uh, okay no, not rejects but the filter so when we are using this component t filter row so there we have this option of filter row connection and this is basically going to filter the rows that are coming uh, from the previous connection it's just a different name for for the scheme for the same concept and then we have uh, we have a t unique row component this is going to identify the unique records and the duplicate records 
so unique and duplicates are tackled here and uh, let's move on to this sub job so viewers know the dmap component this is a pretty powerful component it's used for mapping and merging data from different sources and then it, it could also have one or more outputs and right now in this case it has multiple inputs so the first is going to be main and all the subsequent are going to be lookup and then inside the dmap component we are going to be having the logic of how to handle how to handle the joins and merges and you can see we have two outputs here in this component so that's why we call one of the new connection concept as the multiple input and multiple output connections so that's how we are done with the first row connection now the second connection is the, now the second connection type is the iterate so iterate is for it's, it's like a loop and uh, in the sample example i have placed this t loop component so this is uh, this is like a for loop if you open the properties so it's like the starting value and the ending value and the incremental step and this is going to be so there is only one option or one connection allowed on t loop and this is row and iterate so this is going to iterate over all the subsequent components so now let's make it simple let's suppose this loop is to be execute to be having like four iterations so in the first iteration we are going to start this component then we do this component and then we move on to the next component all components which are connected here with this flow are going to be executed once and then the flow comes back to t loop and then the second iteration and then the third iteration it's not like the normal data flow in which we pass on all data uh, to the next component and then they process it and then we process uh, move on but it's like pass the first row and then process it till the very last component pass the second row and then process it till the very last component it, it's th this is how it's being dealt and now we have the third category of connections known as trigger connections so I have a sample component here the D database connection and the allowable triggers are you as you can see in the picture so there are some component based triggers and sub job based triggers so first of all we need to understand what is a component and what is a sub job so a single a single component that's residing in a square box is known as one individual component and if we talk about sub job so it's a collection of multiple or I can even call it this is a sub job with just one connection uh, one component and basically the real concept of sub job is that you are having multiple components inside the same square box so in this case we have five uh, this this is how Talon interprets a sub job it's like one square containing multiple components but not only that but if we have multiple components attached with these sub jobs they're also considered as part of this sub job for example we have this component and now uh, I would like to mention that when this component is finished execution move on to the next component so I take this trigger on component OK and then I move on to the next component <coughs> so on component OK means when this is successful in, in its execution then move on to the next component sometimes we know that the database connection could not be established so in that case we would like to send an email that the database connection couldn't be established and take the corresponding measures so in that case we are going to select the trigger of on component error and in this case as soon as the connection is not established we take this path and we're going to send an email to the database administrators and then they take the corresponding measures so we're done with the T component uh, the on component OK on component error and now let's have a look on sub job OK and sub job error so I, 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 I told you that this is an independent sub job but all the components or sub jobs attached with this sub job 
are also considered as part of this sub job when it comes to handling the sub job triggers for example we select the option trigger on sub job ok then we move on to the next component this means when this sub job plus all the components and sub jobs attached is finished or maybe let, let's make it simple starting from this component moving in the right direction all components or all sub jobs that are attached in the right direction are to be executed successfully and when they are done it means the sub job is okay and then we say on sub job okay and then we move on to the next component and then we process that it, it's different from on component okay like like you can see on component means we're talking about one component and this is talking about the entire sub job and then we have the last trigger which is an if trigger if means uh, okay so for all components the talent provides there is a there is a global there are a couple of global variables attached with that and we need to see what global variables are those because they are going to be used as conditions or maybe uh, they're, they're having some uh, some valuable information for example in this uh, component if file exists I am making a check if a file exists or not and the global variables attached with this component are error message file name and exists this is a boolean variable and when this component is finished its execution this variable is going to have the value of true or false true if the file exists and false if the file does not exist and now in this scenario I'm going to delete a file only if it exists because if I try to delete a file which does not exist it's going to throw a Java virtual machine error and uh, so Java virtual machine is going to throw an error on that and error is generally not good to be to be handled like that so we, we should have the corresponding uh, exceptions so t file exists if the file exists only then move on and delete the file but how do we decide if the file exists that's why we have this if trigger and inside the if trigger we have the option of uh, we have this t file exist t file exist underscore to underscore exists and this boolean is going to return true or false if the file exists this is going to return true and then we take the next path and then we delete the file so that's how we manage triggers in talent